Seizure disorders. So we've seen, uh, oh, I don't know, several hundred patients over the last 25 years with a variety of different seizure disorders, epilepsy. Uh, and uh, what I believe to be the culprit, of course, if you look up, um, you know, if you, it's considered idiopathic if you do research on where do seizures come from because they don't really know. Uh, but it's all electrical energy that travels from the brain through the body, through the nerve system. And it's all electricity, basically, that travels up and down, up and down through the body. As a matter of fact, uh, in this little diagram, you can see we actually use wires to show how the messages are transmitted from the brain to the heart, the liver, the lungs, the kidneys, the arms, the legs. And so it's all electrical energy that travels through there. Well, what happens is, from my experience, is if one of the upper bones in the neck got even a little bit misaligned, it could have been birth trauma, it could have been a car accident, it could have been a sports injury, it could have been a fall, um, it could have been some sort of major stress in their life that could have actually tensed the body up to the point that it could have actually turned one of those bones just enough to where it created resistance and the normal electrical energy that goes from the brain down through the brain stem down to the rest of the body. Now what happens to that resistance? Well, the resistance builds up, okay? It's kind of like going through a uh, electrical circuit or a wire. If you close down on that circuit so that you do not get as much electricity through there, it'll actually build up resistance, and that current can't get through there. So it builds up and builds up and builds up until eventually it short circuits. What that means is, is the electricity builds up, builds up, and then all of a sudden it goes, shoom, it bursts through, and now it can't control which specific pathways it affects, so it affects multiple or all pathways. And so you get this kind of like electrical shock to the body, which is what creates the seizure. Now, I know that sounds really simple. It's, it's not that simple, but it's pretty simple. So the thing is, is one thing I can tell you for sure, uh, that seizures do not come from a drug deficiency. So taking your phenobarbital, your Depakote, your you know, anti-convulsant medications might numb the problem temporarily, but it's also numbing the rest of the body, right? So if we can figure out the source, the cause of those seizures, and if we can correct it, and then we can allow the normal electric energy that travels from the brain to the body get through there at a normal rate with no resistance, then that electrical energy can't build up and build up and build up until eventually it just shorts everything out, creating that epileptic seizure or, or other types of, of seizures. So this is what I would suggest. Um, go into your neurologist, go into your medical doctor. They're not going to point you in the direction of an actual physical cause creating your seizures. They're not going to say that, hey, maybe the top bone in your neck's out of a line and that's creating resistance. And Unfortunately, they just don't know that, okay? They just don't know. Um, what I would suggest you do is find an upper cervical doctor near you. If you have seizures, if you have a family member, a child that has seizures, do yourself a favor and at least go and have this area checked out to see if maybe the cause of those seizures is coming from the top of the neck.